welcome to our channel my name is alexandria but um our channel name i am nicole that's and my middle name i'm sierra and my middle name is shanice okay so we're doing a chipotle mukbang and then also we'll just be introducing ourselves and letting you guys know what our channel is going to be about so after we get a couple bites we can go ahead and get to talking. Also, my voice doesn't usually sound like this. Um, I'm getting over a, a cold, I guess. Yeah, that was sort of weak. Yeah. And if y'all haven't tried the vinaigrette dressing on your bowl, it's good. Um, so you should try it. Um, I got a chicken bowl, um, no beans. What is this? Pico. Um, lettuce and cheese and I usually get corn but they didn't have any corn today they were really slacking mm -hmm. and they weren't even close to closing and in my bowl I got rice and black beans carne asada I usually get corn as well um, I got the medium salsa today normally I get the hot one but I'm sick so it wasn't gonna sit well. Mm -hmm. And then I got some grilled veggies and cheese, lettuce, and sour cream. Dang. And the vinegar. Got a lot of your bowl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't got nothing. Sometimes I do get veggies though, but sometimes I feel like they don't be cooking them all the time. Like sometimes they be burning them. That's funny because I never get veggies. Really? <laughs> I was like, mmm. Let me get, get some of those. Guys. <laughs> get some of those. Like when I go to Bowles, I get their grilled. Mm -hmm. I like gr I get grilled onions and stuff. Grilled onions and peppers, but I never had them from Chipotle. Okay, guys. So we're going to be doing mukbangs, mukbangs, however y'all say it. Um, just to start off our channel, and then eventually we may be doing other things like try on hauls. Um, and whatever you guys suggest in the comments, um, we can do as well. And then, I was about to say something, but I forgot. Mm, <clears throat> I guess like a little bit about us. We met, how many years ago? I think. This is 2020. Oh, no, this is 2020. Oh, yeah, it's 2020 now. So, three um, years. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think three We years. met three years ago, but we didn't start hanging out until, like, two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we met through our boyfriends. Um, well, kind of. No, not necessarily. We met through... Um, our boyfriend's friend's girlfriend. Right. I've been yeah. trying to explain this before. To <laughs> yeah, before she started dating her boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> we met before me and my boyfriend started dating through his friend. Yes, his friend's girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah. Which, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> but, um, we're both Pisces, which we found out. My birthday's on March 8th. And my, it's March 2nd. So we instantly clicked before we even knew that our birthdays were so close. Only I was born in 1993. I mean, I was born in 92. It's actually kind of weird because, I'm going to be honest, I don't think I ever clicked with any other Pisces before. Really? Like, like we never had any problem, but it's just mm -hmm. like because of our personalities, we never actually like... And that's so we were just too cool, calm, and collected to even like. That's so weird because like, <clears throat> I always wonder why me and my dad kind of would clash. Mm -hmm. And then like, I don't know. Like I didn't realize he was a Pisces until like I got older. And I was like, oh, you're a Pisces too. And my mom was like, yeah, that's why y'all always bump heads because y'all the same sign. Y'all both act the same way. That's why it's weird. Like I never really bumped heads with any, but we never like, like clicked. clicked to where we could like be friends and stuff. Like I know a couple Pisces 
whose birthday like are close to mine mm -hmm. and well, yeah and then but it's like we're cool but it's like not like we not on the level like yeah yeah because we're both like too reserved and shut yeah. off to each other so we never even really got to know each other like that mm -hmm. i usually for some reason my friends were always <clears throat> I don't know. I, I know a lot of Gemini's. Really? I don't know how that worked. I feel like Pisces can really be friends with anybody, to be honest. Mm-hmm. They can. And sometimes Pisces be friends to the wrong people. And that's facts. That's facts. And we be harboring on everybody's energy. Exactly. Oh, also got a <clears throat> Mr. Pip, yeah. I shouldn't be drinking this, but it was there, so I got it. Was it. There. <laughs> but yeah, guys, like we are very excited for our YouTube channel. Um, we are working still, so we're gonna try to post. Well, not try. We will post once a week, and then um, maybe eventually we can post more. And more, yeah. But yeah, we both but still work nine week. to fives. What is it? What, eight, we were gonna say yeah, we were the same job. <laughs> but we knew each other before we started working there. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Eight to eight But to we work in different departments. So we can't get tired of each other because we don't it's not like we see each other all day. <laughs> even though I do be going to her department most of the day talking to her. And even if we did see each other all day, we probably still wouldn't get tired yeah. of each other because we talk a lot. We do. Which is surprising. We talk about everything. <laughs> and the thing is, like, I talk, but I'm not, I don't. I'm not really like. I can't come up with conversation that good. Yeah. Like that. Well, like, if I'm talking to you a lot, then I must really like you. That's, that's how our sign is. Like if we if we if we talk to you a lot, we must really really like you. Yeah, especially if I'm willing to start conversations. Yeah, because I don't initiate conversations. Mm -hmm. Like if people talk to me, I'm not gonna be rude and not talk to them. But and it's like it's not that I don't want to initiate conversations with people like that I don't know, but I don't really know how to start a conversation, and I don't really know how to keep it up there because I don't know. Sometimes the stuff that we talk about, not a lot of people like to talk about. Yeah, that's true. So. Sometimes it'd be hard to like find a subject. Yeah, because I feel like me and you can talk about stuff that if I was to talk about that with somebody else, they'd be looking at me crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, people are like, weird. okay, she's weird. Yeah, like, <laughs> she's weird. She's crazy. Like, mm -hmm. why she think about that? No. I'm sorry. Because that's like the other day when I was trying to explain to my friend. Like his energy is not good. Like mm -hmm. it's just really dark. And he was saying, mm, I'm not really understanding what you're trying to say, but I'm gonna do some soul searching <laughs> and figure it out. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. I find it so like amazing how you literally can just change who you are. It's and not like that thing. Mm -hmm. Like, one day you could probably be like this negative person and hate life and then the next day you could just wake up and be like, oh, I want to be positive for the rest of my life and just change. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the only thing that like a lot of people don't understand is that you don't have to be the same person. You can change. Um, you don't have to be negative. And I'm not trying to say that you got to be positive, smiling all day. Like, of course you have feelings and you go through stuff, but... I don't know, like, you shouldn't be negative all the time either. I agree. So, I feel like every day you wake up, <clears throat> you basically make a choice on, even if you're going through something, whether you're going to let it affect your day or not. So, basically, mm -hmm. happiness is a choice, mm -hmm. and you have to wake up every day choosing to be happy, because you could easily let stuff just get you down. Because, yep. you know, it's life. Stuff happens. Exactly. And I'm not saying you can't show your other emotions. And you're not allowed to cry. And you're not allowed to be sad sometimes. But, like, in general, 
you have to choose to be happy every day. And don't let your emotions take over you. Because trust me, I've done that. And not in well at all. I feel like when I was younger, like beginning of college years, mm -hmm. that was me. <laughs> And then like it's just different now mm -hmm. and I, and a lot of my friends realize they're like dang like they're like mm, you didn't used to be like this like I know. <laughs> i'm like yeah i honestly just woke up one day and was like why am i so comfortable with my emotions constantly being all over the place mm -hmm. i could be up sometimes i could be down sometimes and then i just realized like yeah this is i'm not gonna get anywhere in life <laughs> Let my emotions control me. Mm -hmm. So, life is really what you make it. Like, when people say life is what you make it, it really is what you make it. Like, and you know what made me realize that? My, my, um, my job. Mm -hmm. Not, not this one, but the one that I had before this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Like, cause I'm the type of person that when I start a new job, it's fun for me because I ha I haven't I haven't done it before probably. Mm -hmm. So, but then once I learn how to do everything, I get bored, mm -hmm. and then it's like the same thing over and over. And I just had to realize like, this can either be the easiest, most miserable job I've ever had, or it can be the easiest, like, funnest job I ever had. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you basically make it like make make your day like. Even when I worked at Office Depot, like, it was so easy, but it's like, it's so easy to just become routine. Exactly. And it kind of brings you down, especially if you're the type of person who gets bored easily, like, mm -hmm. it it does affect your mood. So, it's just like, you just got to make the best of it. Like, I just realized, I'm coming in, this job is helping me fund the things that I like to do, which is travel and mm -hmm. eat, like, so after that, I was just like, yeah. I'm just gonna come in and do my job and take myself home. Exactly. And just know that I have money in my account to be able to travel and eat whatever I want to eat. Mm -hmm. It's weird the littlest things that that trigger people, exactly. like food. Come on, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I really love food. I don't know, just the mind, the way it works. I don't feel like anybody can ever fully understand it, but I feel, and I don't even think you can really fully understand yourself, because you always changing, but at least if you have like open mindset, you'll be good. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing, having open mindset. And also you guys, like, <clears throat> we're gonna be doing challenges as well that have to deal with food, but if you have any like topics, um, that you want us to talk about like we may do um, open up our email address for you guys to send like topics it can be anything situations you're going through or just like funny topics serious topics whatever you want to talk about um, or questions that you have for us yeah or questions you can email us us and we'll answer like right now, since we're just starting on YouTube, of course, like we, if you guys send us emails or even DM us on Instagram, we'll most likely be able to respond quicker. Mm -hmm. But um, we see our channel growing, so. <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> if you have questions and everything, make sure you do it now while we're still small so we can get to you. Um, and not saying like we won't answer it when we get big, but just like we'll probably have like yes, more quick. people. <laughs> we'll have more people sending us stuff because 2020 is the year. Like we literally started YouTube last year in January. Um, <clears throat> we still have those videos, which is crazy because this year really went by. Well, last year really went by fast. It went super fast. And we know our channel would have been up like. Honestly, guys, all you guys have to do is really just be consistent. Yeah, that's where we mess up most of the time. Mm -hmm. Start stuff. And we didn't finish. And, like, one thing happens. It's like, oh, I can't do it this week. 
and then it kind of turns into a pattern so then you ain't doing it at all exactly but sometimes you just gotta force yourself to do it especially with us um working full-time and stuff yeah and Take like care. people have kids mm -hmm. um people are in relationships like it's hard to sometimes find time for yourself to do the things that you want to do but because when you get free time sometimes you just want to relax mm -hmm. and sleep mm -hmm. for once or just like have the feeling to be able to relax and not have anything to do like but now i think about it like sometimes you just have to fight through it because once you get to where you want to be then you can create your own free time so you're not searching for the little free time that you have between these things like put in the work now so that way you can have that free time exactly and we'll also be traveling and stuff too yeah so we'll be doing vlogs as well <clears throat> um yeah so we're really looking forward to giving you guys good content um connecting with you guys like i don't know and it's so funny because like i feel like i'm i like i'm not really like an outgoing person around people that i don't know like i'm not really like just out here hanging around like with crowds of people I don't know and going out and stuff like that but for some reason every time I come across people th they get that vibe from me like yeah people are drawn to you yeah like you can like <laughs> people are really drawn to you and I and I'd be like like sometimes I'm confused <laughs> but I know like and then even it was a point in my life where I didn't even want to work around people I wanted to just be warehouse um do my job and go home mm -hmm. but for some reason every time i'm around people like they just light up i don't know why so i know i am like and then the thing is like when i do talk to people like i do i don't know like i do open up and i am nice and everything and like they really like smile and appreciate me and stuff yeah. like that even like at, at work and stuff mm -hmm. And I don't know, I'm just excited to start this new journey with my best friend. Cause you know, 2020, we going up on YouTube. This y'all gonna see us on YouTube. If y'all wanna follow us on Instagram, we'll put our um, handles in the description. We also have a Twitter. Yeah. So it's about to be an amazing we 2020. Love, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Like I've never you know like people every year they be like oh new year new me mm -hmm. like this is my year and all this stuff like i've never done that before mm -hmm. and i'm not saying not necessarily saying that 2020 is my year mm -hmm. but i just know like stuff is really shifting like yeah. this year like i can, can already feel it right like i can already foresee it like stuff is really gonna shift like mm -hmm. in a positive direction you know it just made me excited about the year like i don't know it's weird because I've, I've never had this feeling before for a year and it's like i'm the type of person like i know like i can be good at something um even like i don't know i've been doing this my whole life and i feel like it's time for me to stop because like even in school like in middle school high school like i always take the easy way out of things like i could have been um in like higher math classes mm -hmm. i could have been in like um what honors classes and all that stuff but like i'm lazy i take the easy way out of everything and i feel like it's time for me to step up right like, used to breaking habits because mm -hmm. but i'm really excited those are our biggest downfalls mm -hmm. um, can't be selling ourselves short of our mm -hmm. potential nope so, use this video as proof that <laughs> our YouTube by the end of this year, and I know it'll be sooner than the end of this year, but I'm just gonna don't say by the end of this year, right? Our YouTube will be good. Mark our words. And that reminds me, <laughs> the video that I keep seeing on Twitter, make the stallion talking about uh, cheers to twenty to all the money that's gonna be made in twenty nineteen. Is this bag really went up? Like, <laughs> she really made some money in twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. Like, the, 
throwing out hit after hit exactly. and working with some of the best people. Exactly. Like you just people don't understand how strong their words and their thoughts are. Exactly. Like, you could speak things into existence. I'm not saying you just saying stuff and, and sit, sit back watching and, TV. Yeah, and oh, yeah. expect for it to happen. Like, I'm mm-hmm. not saying that. I'm just saying like speaking things into existence and that way when you go out and do stuff, it actually opens doors for you. Like exactly. you have to speak it into existence. You have to see yourself there already and then just continue to work like and you don't know like doors will start to open for you that you never even thought of and at the most unexpected times like you never know you never know who you could run into you don't or what opportunity that you might get because your thoughts and your words be opening doors for you and honestly if you can see something it already happened you Mm -hmm. just haven't gotten to that point yet yep so that's why it really is good to have um, powerful thoughts to really like think about it and also what you have to do is you have to see yourself where you want to be and just think to yourself like yeah it's already happened i'm just waiting to get to that point to get to the end but not like you really waiting you really grinding to get to that point but it can happen like that's true i don't know and that's like um why a lot of older people hate on younger people because they got the key like they know like the older people they they just really think that you have to live your life a certain way you Mm -hmm. have to do this you have to do that and they're looking at the young people and the young people aren't following along so they're like like we know better than y'all because we older but really y'all might know some stuff but not everything not everything not everything Mm -hmm. and the biggest thing that I try to tell people and that I tell myself every day is to be aware of the energy that you give off because nothing positive is going to keep coming your way if like you have negative energy mm-hmm. blocking you, your own blessings mm-hmm. because like you could be walking anywhere you could be in the grocery store you could be at a restaurant or something and there could be somebody sitting at another table that has exactly what you need to get to the next step in your life and if you have a positive like aura about you and like and you just happen to like walk by their table and they start spark a conversation with you like just know like that's literally the universe moving in your favor mm-hmm. whereas you walk past them and you have this negative energy and all this stuff blah blah, blah like it may be it may cause people hesitant to even talk to you mm-hmm. and i like that's happened to me before because i've run into people and i've said some things to them and they'll look at me like you don't understand how much I really needed to hear that. And it'll be people that I've never met before. And it'll be things that I said that, first of all, I have no idea where that came from. Mm -hmm. Like, it just happens. Like, it just came to me, like, to say this to them. And it literally changes people's days around. Like, you never know. Yeah, that's so true. Or even, like, sometimes it don't even have to be words. Like, Mm -hmm. just the act of kindness like being nice to somebody smiling at somebody like it's been times where like i went to like a fast food restaurant or something and simple smile and and have a good day be like their their faces just light up Mm -hmm. and they so happy they could have been like thinking some bad thoughts dealing with stuff at work at home but just that single act of kindness just brightens people's day like I don't know, because even like at work and stuff, when I get compliments from the patients, you, you think that you won't be caring, but that stuff makes you happy. It does. It does make you happy, especially mm-hmm. if you, especially if it comes after you're dealing with someone who is difficult, like, and then you turn around and then you get another patient, and it's like, oh, see, like this is why that I love, like you're the reason why I enjoy doing my job. Exactly. Like, and then you kind of just forget about the person before them, because. Mm-hmm. I mean, I try to have that mindset anyways, like, not to harp on negative situations or bad experiences with people, because I try to think about the fact that they could be being nasty to me, but I don't know what they're dealing with outside of this. And I know you shouldn't allow your situations to affect how you treat people, but sometimes people can't help it. Mm -hmm. So I try not to take things personally, but then when you do get that one good customer or that one good patient and they say something nice or whatever, it just kind of makes you realize like okay yeah like this is why i enjoy coming to work every day exactly because sometimes people can even like i've had a patient snap at me 
um, I was in check in. Snapped that, snapped that me and, and another um, <clears throat> employee. And then I had to go, I went back to checkout to cover somebody for their break. And we both was literally being, well, I was being nice to him. Um, because, not just because it's my job, but because I'm not letting somebody's emotions affect my energy. Mm -hmm. And I'm not the type of person that's just going to change my energy to how the other person is acting. So I was just still being nice. So then by the time he checked out, um, he apologized and he said that he explained why, which he didn't have to, but he explained like why he lashed out and he apologized and I don't know, it made me like kind of happy because I'm like, wow, like if I would have got like back next to him, it would have just been like a few for no reason mm -hmm. and when he would have left, he probably would have still been angry, but the fact that I was still being nice to him and he noticed that, he came and he apologized. Yeah. And that's sometimes that's what all people need. All what people need is for you just to be nice to them. Mm hmm Because you never know what people are going through. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, we really do look forward to making these deals because Definitely. it's about to be up, like, for real. It's going to be so interesting because, yeah. <laughs> like, our personalities are alike. Mm -hmm. We're real, like, laid back. Neither one of us are, like too outgoing like when it comes to other people like we're goofy around each other so huh? yeah <laughs> and like it's different youtube like having a camera in your face can be weird at times but the fact that we vibe and click so much that we felt like this would be perfect for us because yeah. we we're like i don't know <clears throat> and even with, we have our own channels so like us starting this channel together can like really help us be more comfortable by ourselves when we record our own videos mm -hmm. on our own channels. Um, but yeah, we will um, post once a week. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Make sure you subscribe because if you don't subscribe, you're gonna miss out on a lot of good things, a lot of good topics. Um, yeah, so this is that. And um, click the notification bell, you know, so you can be notified when we post. Um, we don't really have like um, a set time that we'll be posting yet, mm -hmm. um, or a day. But once we figure, figure that, that out, out. <laughs> then we'll let y'all know. Exactly. Yeah, so thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace. <laughs>